He was one of Australia's most successful musicians and internationally famous. But Dr G Unipingu spent his last days before going into hospital in the open on a Darwin beach. His family are now asking why he didn't have a house and what happened to his money. Dr G Unipingu had platinum record sales, but he didn't have his own house in Darwin where he was getting dialysis. We thought that it would be a good option um, to have an investment property in Darwin, but in the end he decided not to. Family who led his public memorial in Darwin this week are questioning why he didn't appear wealthy. He didn't even had a small business with his work, with his sweat. Couldn't even see a mention what he was earning. He made a comfortable living. He drew a wage uh, from his uh, income um, and he you know, supported quite a few family members with that. His record label says it had to help him manage his money because of his cultural obligation to share. In the early days, uh, G had something like $10,000 on a Friday, and on Monday he rang me and said, I've got no money left. Dr G Unipingu's uncle says it was natural for him to have spent his last day staying on the beach with family. You know people that live along the coast, we can see the sea, the wave, the wind. That's a well-known Yungul camping spot and a well-known Yungul drinking spot. Um, it, it always worried me because anything can happen in those, in those places. Homeless service worker Vaughan Williams was asked by Darwin Hospital to find Dr G Unipingu after he missed several dialysis appointments. He says the singer agreed to come to hospital with him. He didn't give any indication whatsoever that uh, he had some intention of uh, lying on the beach and just passing away there. Both Junga Junga Yuna Pingu and Mark Gross say they weren't told by Dr G that he wanted to die on the beach with family instead of going to hospital, but both believe this was his wish. By not doing dialysis uh, and, and missing eight sessions of it, it was really clear to me that what choice he was making. Those left behind are still making sense of it. Jane Barden, ABC News.